Welcome, welcome to download files from Google Colab as you might have different points within your Colab notebook where you want to generate files. You need to import the files library from google.colab. We're going to add this code that will allow us to upload a file. So when we run this section of the code, then we can choose the file that we want to upload. Once you choose your file to upload, go to the File Explorer section and choose to refresh that section and you'll see your file has been uploaded. Then we'll create a new block of code and put that data from the CSV file into a data frame. We'll run this block, then we can see what our data looks like. And let's take the subcategory and the profit columns to create another data frame. We'll create a new block of code and wrangle the data a bit to sum the profits for each subcategory. We can run this code and see what our data frame looks like. Now we're going to create another block of code and download the data to the CSV. So here in this block, we'll send the subcategory profit data frame to a CSV file. So we'll use the to CSV method and then input the file name. We'll just call this sub category profit profit.csv. Exclude the index column with index equals false. And then in the next line we'll type files dot download and a file name. Run this block of code and the Colab notebook will initiate the download. You can see it's successfully downloaded so we can open our folder and look at the file. And this line of code will create the file in your file explorer so you'll see it there when you refresh the file explorer. And if you don't have the second line, the files download, then you can just download the file by going to the file explorer, hovering over the file, clicking on the three dots, and choosing download. So if you don't want to lose the files from your Colab notebook, make sure you download them because when the Colab runtime ends, you'll lose all your files and local variables. If you want an alternative to Google Colab, check the video at the end. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, Subscribe to the channel.